My name is Amber Kivett, and today I am sharing with you with Life Pro Fitness how you can use the whole body vibration platforms for the purpose of core conditioning, toning, and uh, just strengthening. So um, let's first start with defining the core. Most people think that the core is right here in the abs or the back, or maybe we're adding into the hips. Theoretically, if we think about what the core does, the core is what connects our whole body together. So we have our diaphragm, our pelvic girdle, and our, our pelvic floor, and then we have everything above that and everything below that. So in reality, core is anything that attaches your fingertips to your toes. Um, so today, I'm gonna to share with you um, how to do proper exercises using the whole body vibration platform. Um, if you look at the carousel, um, below the video, you're going to find a different variety of platforms that we offer. Today I'm going to be sharing uh, these exercises that I do regularly with myself as well as with my clients on the Rumble X. Um, if you uh, have the waiver or you have the hover, whatever platform you have, um, all of the platforms will work with, this, with these exercises. Um, because the platform generates so much internal um, and so much internal activation, we don't want to go any longer than 15 minutes uh, at a time for a given part of the day. So for instance, if you are at home uh, and do any learning or you're working from home and you're not moving as much, if you're wanting to get on 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening, or maybe 10 minutes in the middle of the day for a lunch break, that's fine. We just don't want to add any more than two workouts together at the same time. So in other words, you don't want to get in a 20, 30 minute blitz in the morning for breakfast or, or right before you go to bed in the evening. We want to keep those workouts spread out if you're doing several in a day. Um, so without further ado, what I want to make sure that we all understand, core again, is anything that attaches fingertips to our toes. And one thing that has come up in discussion in, in, in months past and working with different clients is um, how do I know that when I'm on the platform, if I'm in a plank position, that the vibration is not rattling my brain? Most important thing to remember is if you are using the platform for holding a plank or for working anything on the upper body, if you feel like there's too much jarring around or too much rattling of your face, you can drop the, the intensity down to a very low level so that you are not necessarily rattling your brain. Um, but I'm gonna show you some other tips and tricks that you can do uh, to achieve the same results on the platform without having your head and your neck on uh, real close to the vibration plate. Um, so we just vary the exercises. Um, but as far as, uh, we, as, as causing any brain injury or concussion or any kind of issues, as long as you are keeping it at a lower intensity with your face close to the platform, depending on which platform you have. The Rumble X has three different oscillations, so it has just a, a, a vibration, it has a side to side, and it has a tilt. If you just go with the vibration, the vibration is going to be uh, gentler than will be the side to side. And then if you have the tilt, or I'm sorry, if you have the tilt, if you have the side to side, and you have the other, the oscillations with just the vibration as well as um, the tilt. When you have all three together, that's a lot of energy uh, going through the body and into the brain. So I would avoid, um, if you are setting up your own uh, manual intensities, um, to stay on the low end. So if you're watching with the Rumble X, stay in the green or in the yellow when your face is close to the platform. But, um, and, and just follow your intensity. So if you struggle and you feel discomfort or you feel that you're getting a headache from being on the platform, depending on what intensity you choose, um, just modify your uh, activity level or modify your intensity level until you understand how your body adjusts. Because again, um, you, sometimes we don't realize how much we've done, especially with the platform, until we've already done too much. So uh, start low and work your way up. What I want to share with you first uh, in getting on the platform is how to do a plank properly. Um, whether it's holding a push-up position or holding a plank position from your forearms or from a push-up position with the palms, it's really important to understand what your body is actually doing when you're doing a plank. So most people will hold up their body in a plank position, whereas if you're doing a plank position properly, you're actually pushing yourself into the ground. So if you think about of a bridge and you have two endpoints of a bridge, for a human body, it's our toes and our feet and our hands. So hands and feet 
are working to create this bridge, which we call plank. If you push hard into the floor with your hands and you push hard into the floor with your feet, it just creates the natural bridge of our body. So you shouldn't feel like you're holding yourself up. You should feel like you are pushing yourself into the ground, which then creates the natural bridge. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. So if I am on the floor, okay, all I want you to do is just get on your hands and your knees. Hands are spread out wide. Toes are tucked underneath of you. So I want you on your tippy toes with your knees supporting you. Now from here, what I want you to do is push the ceiling away from your body. So if you push your shoulders through the roof as if the roof has crashed down on you and you're trying to push the roof off of your back, I want you to create a big push into your ceiling or through the sky. Now from here, drive all of your energy into your toes or into your feet and then just lift your knees while you're pushing the ceiling off of you. Now this is a modified plank. We call this a bear crawl and a hovering position. So a lot of times I like to start teaching from this position because it's very challenging for a lot of people to be able to hold the amount of weight from their shoulders to their, to their ankles. So if we push the ceiling away and we elevate those knees, we're now holding a modified plank. In order to get into a full plank, we take one leg out, take the other leg out, and here we are into a plank. If you think about squeezing your ankles together, squeezing your thighs together, squeezing your butt cheeks as tight as you can possibly hold them, and pushing the ceiling off of you, you'll have yourself into a proper plank position. So, again, pushing the ceiling away, hands firm into the floor as if you're pushing away, pushing your toes into the floor, and if you do that, you're not gonna end up in holding yourself up, all right? So, I'm going to start by just showing um, some basic exercises. Let's go ahead, I'm going to show you with the plank position, a modified plank from the bear position, and um, we'll go from there. I'm going to turn this to the side here so we get a good visual. And for me personally, just for demo purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and start with a pre-programmed setting on this. So I'm going to start with P1. And so we are on here. Now, if you have discomfort with your palms directly in contact with the platform, grab yourself a towel, okay? Place your towel over the platform so that you can still see the control panel, and then use that as a cushion for your hands if you've got sensitive hands. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and push play. And so again, I'm gonna push the ceiling away and maybe you just need to start right here. If you just need to start right here, you're still working the core because we're generating energy between our fingertips to our toes. So from here, tucking those toes under and we're just elevating those knees just a little. And right now, I'm absorbing a lot of this energy. Total body, I can feel this in my core, my abs, my back, my hips, my shoulders. I'm feeling it everywhere. Okay, now from here, what we can do is just lower on back down and recover. Push that ceiling off of your shoulders, elevate those knees, and we're holding again. Now you have a timer in front of you, so if you just hold for a 10 second count, and then lower back down, that, you can work in five second intervals. When you're doing a plank position or when you're holding a bear position, it doesn't matter how long you hold it. Just work within your own intensity levels, within your own comfort zone. So work five seconds at a time, then 10 seconds at a time. Then maybe you'll take five seconds off and you'll generate another 10 seconds. If you can hold it for 30 seconds, good for you. Keep working that. But for those of you who can barely get their body up off the ground, for whatever challenges your body has presented, just lifting those knees and coming back down just for two seconds, that's huge. There's so much energy traveling through the body. So don't be ashamed if you can only get your knees up off the ground for just a few seconds. That is better than doing nothing at all. So we're here. Push away, elevate those knees, take one leg out, and now I'm driving all of my energy into my heels, okay? Pushing, 
the ceiling off of my shoulders. So I'm driving my upper body through the roof, driving my heels into the ground. I'm not even squeezing my butt cheeks yet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now we're holding the butt cheeks. Now we feel it, total body, fingertips to toes. All right, now let's add some variety. So how can we make that harder for those who are bored with that position? Well, let's take a towel for instance. So this is a large bath towel. What you can do is you're gonna place this in between your legs, in between your thighs. And again, we're squeezing that towel Toes are down into the ground, pushing the ceiling away, and just squeezing that. Now we're generating this through the pelvic floor and through the hips. Using our abdominals in order to hold this position while we're pushing everything away. We can go out long, squeeze that towel, forces those butt cheeks to tighten up really tight, pushing away, that's killer. So if you've never used a towel, in between your knees or in between your thighs, when you're holding a plank position or push-up position, give it a try because it's awesome. It's a great exercise. Now let's talk about going low. So if we're here, okay, from here, it's a lot harder to hold a bare position down low. It can be done. So if you want to go out long, again, I'm driving my forearms into the plate, heels into the ground, Pushing my upper body through the ceiling. Squeezing my butt cheeks as tight as I can, okay? Now, for those of you who don't like your face that close to the plate, we can reverse this. Quite easy. I'm gonna take the plate going this direction because now I'm gonna be in front of the plate. So my feet are gonna be up on the platform. So I'm gonna use this towel underneath of my hands some of you have received a cushy mat that goes with the platform. You can use that cushy mat underneath of your hands too. So from here, same thing applies. I'm on my hands and my knees, toes are underneath of me, and now I'm holding myself into a bear hover position. Now I'm getting more lower body, but I'm still working the core. Now we go long. We're still working that core, things are on fire, but my head and my face are not close to contact with the platform. So if that's something that bothers you, just flip flop and it's okay, you can do that. All right, now let me show you what you can do with the resistance bands that came with your kit. Um, I'm gonna go back to where I started from here with a hovering position. And what you can do here, Hands go around, or band goes around the wrist. Hands go down, and again, we can hold a push-up position. If you want more core, slowly drop down onto the forearms, then pop back up. And if you can hold that no problem, then we can tap one side at a time, or we can go out with the other side. This is killer on core, killer on abs, very advanced. We can go out, out, hold, in, in, out, out, in, in. Wow, my tummy is feeling that. So if you've never tried that, band goes on around the wrist and it's out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, in a plank or in a hover. Now, if you don't want to hold that position, or maybe you can't get your body up into that position, just rest yourself on your knees, and you can do the exact same thing. It's a great exercise. So we're right here, pushing the ceiling away. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. And you just repeat that over and over and over again. All right, now, to make this a little bit more, for those of you who want even more advanced, um, going from a plank position, adding more core. What you can do is you can put the band around the ankles. I'm just using a light band. You can use as heavy duty as you want it to go because we're just doing lower body resistance while maintaining upper body control. So 
You gotta get into that hands and knees position. Hands are spread out on the platform. Knees tucked under in a bear position. We're gonna elevate this. We're gonna go long, okay? Squeeze your butt cheeks as tight as you can. Push the ceiling away. And we're tapping to the outside. Tap to the outside. Just back and forth, all right? Maybe you need to do two or three of those and then drop your knees back down. From here, add a push up, pop up, tap, 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 tap. Maybe you can hold that push up position. Hold, drop those knees down, push up, elevate, tap, 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 tap. You can also add a jack. So dropping those knees down, lower, push up, elevate, tap, tap, jack. Okay, a lot of variety there. Now, what I'm gonna do here now, is now I'm gonna actually sit on the platform. So sitting on the platform, and I've just got this actually in a manual mode at the moment. So we can go heavy resistance band with the ankles. So I'm gonna grab my medium, bit, my medium band, the blue band, strap that around the ankles. All right, now, I'm going to adjust my unit so that the intensity is greater. So I'm gonna go back to a P level, pre-programmed. I really like P2. You can use whatever program you want. All right, from here, we're working pelvic floor. Um, I like to call this the dancing crab. This is a favorite exercise of mine. So we go, legs are out wider. We're just getting into the body positioning here. We're just elevating your booty and dropping back down. We gotta start with initiating that first. So elevate the booty, coming back down. We're getting a lot of core here because remember, core is anything that connects the upper body to the lower body, all right? So you don't have to get all the way up into tabletop, but you can. Now I'm feeling this tremendously in my torso. And when you add the band around the ankles and holding that position, now we're activating the chain all the way through the hips, okay? So we're grounded at the feet, we're grounded at the upper body, this might be too much for many of you to handle with a pre-programmed setting. This is pretty heavy duty for me. So I'm gonna keep my hands off the platform for this one while we get through this phase. So that being said, if your platform is set up on a pre-programmed, you put your hands down and you're like, man, that's just too much on my upper body, on my neck and my shoulders, just take the hands off and you can stay put because once you maintain contact with the platform using your hands, that energy drives all the way up through the body into the head and neck so if you're having trouble with that, just keep your hands off the platform and just use your core, using your abs, your back, your hips, and everything else but your hands to stay on. So here we go, we're gonna lean back. And so part of the dancing crab is being able to pick the feet up and dropping back down, okay? This is also referred to as a rowing position. Um, you can think of it as a V-sit, whatever, whatever makes sense to you. It doesn't matter what we call it, whatever makes sense to you. But I just want you to pick those feet up and coming back down. It's a lot about balance. Core is all about balance as well because balance here in this is our center of gravity. And if we don't know where our balance lies and if we can't maintain our body's awareness in space, it doesn't matter what kind of exercises you do for your ab or your back. So we wanna make sure that your center of gravity is centered, balanced, that you have control. And so just picking those feet up, holding that band apart, coming back down, I'm feeling that big time here in my pelvic floor, which is really important for your body uh, in, in everything that it does, okay? Now, if you can't hold yourself there, just take your hands. I've got this towel, and I'm rolling this up and placing it behind the platform. And I'm just going to lean back and make contact with that towel however it's comfortable. So it doesn't matter where your hands are, whether they're turned out, turned under, whatever is comfortable for you. And from here... Just leg raise, all right? So maybe this is your modification, just lifting those legs, all right? This right here, we're still working abs big time, big time. We can go up, 
out, down, up, out, down. Oh, that's killer. Up, out, down. Okay. A lot of variety there. Whoops. As I tilt forward on my platform. All right. So take one foot out of the band. The other band can stay, band can stay on the other foot. Hands up, touching the foot. Hands up, touching a foot. This is modified dancing crab. Hands up, and we're just touching a foot. We're getting a lot of abs here. We're getting a lot of hip, getting a lot of activation. You can hear me talking, so I'm breathing. Okay, now the hard one is coming up and tapping in between. Okay, so if you're really wanting some abs, just tapping in between and coming up while you're holding that. Then from there, we can go hands on the ground, okay, booty up, or one foot up, reaching two, coming back down, reaching two. Now, you don't have to have a tremendous amount of strength to start this one. You can just do this, hands on a towel. So this is a good modification, but man, you're still getting all that stuff. All right. Core, anything that connects the upper body to the lower body. Our center of gravity funnels right through our pelvic ring. So what I want you to think about doing is you're going to squeeze this towel with the inner part of your knees. We're gonna have our hands on the platform, so squeeze that towel and lift. Drop back down, relax. Squeeze tight, lift, down, and release. Squeeze lift, down, release. All right, doing good. Nice job. I don't want you to worry about how tight your butt is or how flat your abs are or if your back is straight. Just squeezing that towel, getting your butt up off the platform, that's a great way to start all of this, all right? All right, um, moving on. So the other favorite exercise of mine is if we put the band around just the toes, just the toes, not the angles, just the toes. I'm leaning back on the platform and I'm just picking up one foot at a time. Okay, so now we're getting hips, but we're still getting some abs. Now if I elevate and do that at the same time, now we're really working through abs, real heavy. Now, again, if that bothers you and you don't want to have your hands up on the platform, I'm going to go around and I'm going to sit on um, behind the platform while I'm weevil wobbling my way back. Okay? And so what you can do from here is we reverse. So we go on the platform, hands come behind you, lift, and back down. Lift back down. This is huge, okay? Now, I'm going to turn this sideways so that you can see me all um, in what my body is doing. Let's pause this because it is high energy in the moment. All right. Now, actually, we're not going to need that. We're going to roll that towel up. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go without bands, without everything. What I want you to do is lay on your back, heels are in contact with the platform, hands are in contact with the ceiling, and all we're doing is just lifting our butt, okay? Coming back down, elevating the booty, coming back down. All right, now, let's go ahead and turn this back on. Nothing specific, just whatever works for you. Hands are up, now if what we can do is we can grab your light resistance band, so your yellow band. Hands are up. Open those hands apart while the band is in contact with your wrist. Squeeze the booty and lift through the ceiling. So I want you to put an object underneath of your back. I want you to assume. I don't want you to do this. I want you to pretend. Um, I like to teach a $100 bill. You're going to put a $100 bill in your butt crack, okay? Nobody can steal it from you. Squeeze that $100 bill as tight as you can and push your hips to the roof. 
it really forces this through here to tighten down. Again, it may feel like you're working your hamstrings, but we're working the core. Okay, so we're gonna open the band, squeeze your booty, push through the roof. Okay, take those hands overhead. Now our core has increased engagement because we've lengthened our lever. Coming back down, make this one notch harder for those of you that want the added challenge. You're gonna take that towel, you're gonna roll it up like a log, put it in between your thighs like we were squeezing before. Band goes around the wrist, open and spread that band, squeeze that towel, push through the roof. This is killer. Everything in my core is activated from my shoulders all the way through to my heels. Everything fingertips to toes, like we talked about earlier. Everything fingertips to toes. Okay? We take the hands overhead. Everything fingertips to toes. Oh, this is killer. Add the vibration and it's, it's like unbelievable. Ah, I don't know about you, but man, that is exhausting. It's a great thing though. All right, my friends, um, there's just a couple of easy ways. And I just, I just covered a very um, short amount of time on the platform. There's, uh, I could easily teach uh, 30, 40 minutes of different ab exercises, core exercises. Remember, core is anything that attaches fingertips to the toes when it comes to energy. So whatever you can do to feel that surge of energy between your hands and your feet, using this bridge between our shoulders, our abs, our hips, and our knees, anything that you can do to add intensity to that as you are ready, you're gonna do great. Um, just sitting on the platform activates the core. That was one of the reasons why I bought the unit a year ago was after a total hysterectomy, I could not get my abdominals to start firing again, could not get my pelvic floor to start activating the right way, and so I bought my platform, and life has been changed ever since that point. So it really, you don't have to do anything extra other than just making contact with the platform because again, your core is where your center of gravity is held. And so understanding how to feel for that the platform helps with that. So if you're interested in other videos, learning how to use the platforms, um, make sure that you subscribe uh, below so that you can uh, you know, receive our notifications as to how uh, and, and what to do using your device. Um, if you are on the fence of whether you want to get a platform, now is the time to get one for sure because not only do we activate the core, but we're also calming things down. So strengthening using the vibration platform is totally different than strengthening using weights in the weight room or at the gym. Um, this is very gentle in how it works, but incredibly effective to accelerate results. So if you're thinking about getting one, not quite sure if now's the right time, um, even if you choose one of our um, entry-level platforms versus the Rumble X, um, that's, that's what you, Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of the platforms, but now's the time to do it because it will help with moods. It will help with uh, fat, meta fat metabolism. Uh, it helps with joint pain. It helps with all different kinds of things. Um, yes, so cannot wait to um, share with you more exercises in the future. Um, some other ideas coming forward is how to use the, the different devices for stabilizing the hips and the thighs. Um, not really thinking about the shoulders, just stabilizing hips and thighs. There's so many things, hours and hours and hours of exercises, but you can only get on the platform for 10 to 15 minutes at a time. Um, so keeping it simple and not worrying about isolating certain body parts, but just working the body as a whole is the most effective way to really get to your goal um, using the platform. So from Life Pro Fitness and myself, thank you so much for watching today. I uh, hope you had an awesome workout and look forward to seeing you again in the future. Have a great day.